Alrighty, so it's been a little while since I've had anything on the Mark V hybrid on the channel and that has been because the battery has been playing up. Now I have pulled everything that I could see apart trying to figure it out. I know that there was a loose wire in there somewhere and I just couldn't figure it out. I knew that it was still holding a charge but it just would not switch on. And quite by accident, I found out exactly what the problem was. What had happened is the two stroke vibrations had broken no connections in the battery, no connections in the wiring. I am 99% sure that what has actually happened is there's a connection broken in the switches themselves. As you can see, whoop, there we go. Now, that is the downside to building an electric two-stroke hybrid. The two-stroke vibrations play absolute havoc on cheap electrical circuits. I've already had to replace the connector plug on the battery itself. And as you're riding every now and again, the power will just cut. And as I say, I'm certain that it's in the switch itself, which is good because it now means I know what I need to fix. I hadn't really touched the battery because I thought the next thing I needed to do was to pull apart the battery pack itself and that is way above my pay grade. I'm not an electrician and my soldering skills are basically non-existent. As for the bike itself, I haven't been riding it even just on the BT100 uh, because the coaster brake is starting to play up, you know, where the wheels, the, the pedals start turning with the wheels and I just felt it was getting too dangerous uh, to ride. I had considered at one point before I, I was having trouble with the battery just taking it back to being a, an e-bike by itself or the other option when the battery did play up was to go the other end and just have it as a motorized bike. I couldn't commit to doing either one so I left it. It's been sat in a corner under the house, getting dusty, not being ridden. And in actual fact, I've harvested parts from the Mark V to get my latest build, the Mark VII running, which is, it's out of the garage now. That's uh, in its new home. It is, of course, a project I built for somebody else, the only bike I've ever built uh, for somebody else. As a result, I need to wait until I can afford more spare parts, which you know, it's a couple of cables, a clutch. It's not going to break the bank in the long run, but it's not something I can afford to do uh, right away. So I'm thinking of just disconnecting the drivetrain to the two-stroke, plugging in the battery, and just effectively riding it as uh, an e-bike but leaving the engine mounted in the frame, uh, ready to put the chain back on when I've got all the parts I need to get uh, the motor running again. But I'm excited about that this switch being the problem. I, I had suspected it in the beginning, but until recently, it wouldn't even, yeah, see, see this? Now, if I give the switch a bit of a wiggle, there we go. You see the frustration that I, I, I was having and why I gave up on it, but there we go. This at least means that I know I can get everything on the e-bike connected again and I should be able to ride it. And I'm hoping that without the two-stroke vibrations, that connection in there won't break. Like I can shake it around and throw it and the light's not going to go off. So there's just a dodgy connection uh, in the switch itself. 
Now, I'm hoping that, again, long run, I'll just be able to replace that switch. But that's going to involve taking the battery pack apart again. After all this time, it still held a full charge. Uh, I plugged it in and topped it up. But that suggests to me that the battery pack itself is still in really good condition. So really, the only thing for me to do is to... <coughs> Boop. The only thing for me to do now is to get the bike out, plug it in and see what I can get working.